Apologists. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. Andrew, what is wrong with naturalism? Let me guess. It can't explain objective morality, truth and free will, uh, consciousness, life, the universe, everything. Well, I think with naturalism, you have to look at where we are today. I think you have uh, objective moral truth. You have a conscious humanity. You have living creatures and you have this universe. Ah, quite surprise. Look, continually perpetuating a lie does not make for a truth. The fact is that there is no reason why, in principle, naturalism cannot account for um, objective morality or the objective bits of morality, uh, the properties of consciousness, uh, certainly life, and possibly even the origin of the universe. Now, with naturalism, you have to scale back and say this universe came from nothing. You do not, if you're a naturalist, have to say that the universe came from nothing. You probably have some kind of commitment to telling the truth. Therefore, you'll probably say that you don't know where the universe came from, which is unfortunate, but it's morally superior to lying and pretending that you know evolved simple life into complex life, into living organisms, into human, conscious humanity and objective moral truth all on its own. Okay, your use of the term evolved here, as if it's an active verb, suggests that you don't know shit about naturalism. You see, pretty much the point of the naturalistic evolutionary view is that things evolved in the universe in a way that does not require a willful plan or effort or outcome. It's not teleological. Now that to me sounds deeply religious. Um, I, did you just suggest that if something has, isn't backed up by evidence it's religious? I think you might be being a bit hard, even on your own side there. Also, why has somebody drawn a fart coming out your ass? Versus saying, God created the heavens and the earth. This objective moral truth is God speaking into our hearts. Um, I think you meant to say the objective moral truth is um, God speaking into your heart. Although, perhaps you made a Freudian slip there. Uh, also, if God did it, isn't doesn't sound religious then really I don't know what does and the evidence is for our faith ah oh, well you, you rescued yourself at the last minute there because you hit the party line spot on and that of course allows the idiot sitting next to you to nod approvingly oh bloody hell it's a book promotion look seriously the problem for Christians of this kind with naturalism is that it doesn't have the right kind of god in it for the moral bully how are you going to threaten people into surrendering control of their own lives and sexual organs if you haven't got the support of the ultimate badass air force thank you for listening